Oh, Flowey. All right. I'll mercy you. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. Because he doesn't understand the concept of mercy. But we do. Undertale. Well, we're starting the game again. No, we're not. By Toby Fox. And an artist that did a lot of art. And some other artists, and they're awesome too. And these guys. Yeah, everyone. And these guys, and the guitar player, yeah. Game? Hello? <laughs> I forget what happens here. Oh, I got a phone call! Hey, uh, is anyone there? Well, just calling to say, you made a snowman really happy. I guess I should just say something else, too. Hey, I held on to that snow residue the whole game! So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared, so... Uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon, but even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey. If we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it'll take. But we'll get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human. I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alphys with her research. She's going to get away. She's going to find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too. Though to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion inducing. But I think Alphys likes having her around. Uh oh. Hey, what are you up to, punk? Nag. Please don't noogie the phone. Hey, who's in charge here? Me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader as the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's uh, only one member now, but he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't noogie the skeleton. Anyways, now I'm working as Alphys' lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh yeah, and I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? Hey, I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault he... Ah, uh, darn it. I missed the big guy. Come on, Undyne. Snap out of it. Uh, I, I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. 
Seems like something's really bothering her, but she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there, so wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is, even the queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel, Toriel, do you wanna... Heh, <laughs> she says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to, we wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. But call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, hate to cut this short, but be seeing you. Okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now. See ya, punk. Click. That, I believe, is the uh, neutral ending that you need to do to get to the true pacifist ending if you indeed wiped your file like I did. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and, well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness? See you soon! And that, my friends, is the neutral ending. And now we are going to go back and see Dr. Alphys because when you, uh, you start this from a new file, as I did, um, you do have to do the neutral ending first, and then it will allow you to go back. As you can see, I have my uh, file back here, so I can just continue. And here we go. I can just continue from here, and we can go see Dr. Alpha. So I'm going to save, just to be safe. Uh, I... <laughs> You guys know I have like a save complex. I really need to be saving my game all the time. And now we will go see uh, Dr. Alphys and that is how we will get the true pacifist ending. Time to befriend Alphys. So yeah, once you get the neutral ending, you can go back, you can stock up on things if you would like. Asgore is still dead, I'm pretty sure. Like you don't have to do the flowey fight again, I don't think. Um, so now the main challenge is trying to remember where to go. I think I remember. The first time I played this, the elevators really confused me. And I didn't... I, I'm just terrible with navigation unless there's a map on hand. And even when there's a map on hand, I'm still pretty terrible. So I think this elevator, if I'm not mistaken... If I can get in there... It just come. It just goes across here. That's that's all it does. Is it takes you across so you don't have to walk. And that really confused me. I didn't realize that was what the elevator was for. I thought elevators usually go up and down, not sideways, unless you are in fact the wonk evader. So now, you may all watch as I attempt to get back to Alphys, Doctor Alphys. Uh, I think we are actually going the right way. I guess I've played this game enough times to uh, remember. Where to go. Also, on a side note, do you see these red things? These This little pink thing? It reminds me of intestines. Just <laughs> exposed intes intestines in the wall. I'm sorry if that's disgusting and I just ruined your day. Hopefully you weren't eating when I said that, but it seriously reminds me of intestines. So I'm going to go ahead and save here because because I am. And we're going to go find Dr. Alphys and I think we can just take this elevator down. Yes. Yes. And I am actually, while we're doing this, I... Oh, I, hang on, hang on, guys. Got a phone call. Hey! Uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This is your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. Click. Okay, so we're not going to go to Alphys. We're actually going to go to Undyne. And I am just going to make a stop in here and buy... 
No, I'm not. I'm not gonna buy anything because I have no gold. <laughs> okay, never mind. Not gonna buy anything. I, I, I still have a ton of cloudy glasses, so... I'm gonna sell those and uh, try to get some extra gold, I guess. So I think the ferryman is somewhere. Let me just see. Not this way. Ah, I knew I would get lost. I think it's this way, actually. Yeah, here's the elevator. Heat's Flamesman is still just dumbfounded. I just made his life by remembering his name. Say my name, say my name. So left, we're gonna go right floor. Left floor, right floor, left floor. This one. There's so many, well, right, how do we go from right to left? How do we go diagonally? I'm, I swear, we're in the wonk evader. That's how this is working. Okay, so let's go down here. There we go, this is where I need to be. So I'm gonna save here. Just in case, you never know. You never know when your computer is gonna go all crazy. Yes, I do care for a ride. We're gonna make a stop in Waterfall. I'm gonna sell all those cloudy glasses that you saw in my inventory to uh, the Thames. So we're gonna actually stop in Temi Village. I know you guys love Temi Village. Tralala. -la -la. Beware of the man who speaks in hands. I love that little cat boat. I want a cat boat. I don't know if we'll actually need any items, but I know there's another fight coming up. So I do- I wonder if I have anything in this box. I have a ton of dog residue. Wait a minute, I still have all my shit. How's that? Oh, it gave me all my shit back. That's awesome. I did not realize it would. I also have a stick. So good. So I have my heart locket. I have junk, junk food, butterscotch pie, snowman piece. Okay, awesome. Well, um, I guess I could still sell my stuff though. That's not, that's not a bad idea. I'm not going to use those cloudy glasses for anything. So I am just going to sell the rest of them to Temi. I think I have them in my... Let me just check and make sure before I do any of this. I think I have them in one of these boxes. Yes, I do. So I am going to very quickly swap them out and sell them. And I'll, I'll put them back when I'm done here. But always a good time when you go back to the Thames. Good old Temis. Hopefully I remember how to get there. I think it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. Awesome. And then you'll see what happens when I- how I actually did get all that money doing the cloudy glasses uh, things. That's how I actually got the Tem armor, is I kept collecting them and selling them and profiting them. So we're going to sell the clod glasses. It's for 50 gold. And I want to make sure I don't sell anything else here. Every now and then, I don't know if this is a bug or if this is intentional, but every now and then she'll get really excited and be like, Whoa, you got a cloud gases. <laughs> I gotta have that cloud gases, but I gotta pay for grad school. Tem always want a cloud glasses. Oh, okay, so she won't sell them for any more, but every now and then she'll get like super excited about it. So there we go. Extra money. Just in case I need extra gold for anything. I only had 50 and right away I'll go ahead and, uh, I'll put these things back. Junk food. Do I really need the stick? Oh well. No, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll... Sure, why not? I actually think I put it... There we go. Why not? You never know when you're gonna need a stick in your pants. As... As I always say. Alright, let's go back. So now we actually are gonna go to Snowden. I just wanted to make sure that everything is all good for this ending. Don't want anything to go wrong. Don't want to be out of gold. Uh, oh, also that reminds me, um, the reason I don't have any gold is because I actually bought that mystery key. You didn't see it because I had actually lost, uh, my save file got all messed up and I had to redo a lot of things for this let's play. And as you know, this is all auto saved, saving is hard. So I had to rely on a lot of backups. So that is something you didn't get to see 
in the uh, in the previous Let's Plays, but I did buy the mystery key, and the mystery key goes to this house here. Dear Diary, Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Bluki, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. Dearest Diary, I like to buy a new diary for, diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. Dearest Diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Bluki and I. Bluki asked if I was going to try to become Corporal, too. They sounded so... resigned. Come on, Bluki. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. My darling diary. I met someone. Interesting today. Last week I posted that advertisement for the Human Fan Club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork, and she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. Diary. My dear... My... Sorry. Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. I have, like, five now. Dear Diary. She, she, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. It's in a form that I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Bluki. My dreams can't wait for anyone. So I think this is Metaton's room, if I'm not mistaken. At first I thought it was like another dummy, but I think that's Metaton. You feel free to correct me if I am wrong, but with all like the stars and becoming a star, I think that's Metaton's, Metaton's uh, room. Let's save. And now, whoops. And now that I have shown you guys uh, some of those other things, we can actually go to Snowden now. <laughs> I just want to make sure I showed you the mystery house. Because I, like I said, I did buy the mystery key. I bought it in one of my other recordings. And that recording turned out completely botched. Uh, I had lost like my voiceover and I had to redo things. Thank God I had a couple backups. Because if I hadn't, <laughs> this would be very difficult with the lack of uh, save states. Uh, it just auto-saves, and with the ending, it just saves to Flowey. If you recall, you'll lose it, so... Very difficult to return to certain points in this game unless you create backups. So let's go... ...to Papyrus' house. Which is over here. By the library. Spelled wrong. Hello! I'll talk to Papyrus first, see how it's doing. It seems Undyne has something for you. She's the person that's not me. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much. Ooh, I am? Oh, what am I? Hang on. I got this. Let me just move my stick over. I'm just gonna move it anyway. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't ever want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. What happens if we read it? Will she kill me? Undyne's letter. Unique letter written for Dr. Alphys. I don't think we can actually read it. Unless I uh, unless I have to use it. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god! I'm gonna freaking kill you! Hey! Let's let's go somewhere. But but where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Yeah! Wow, it's beautiful. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh, 